Hello, Monday. Short story ideas, i.e. fiction writing prompts from what you know so that you can write what you know. Follow that advice. And we're continuing with the news. Probably do this for a week just to prove that you can skim through the news and there will be something there if you want a short story prompt it's there it's surrounding you remember stories are about people and they're about your protagonist wanting something or needing to achieve something to overcome a problem and the problem might be subtle what they want might be simply to have a less boring life big problem for some people um, not such a problem compared with um, losing your job <clears throat> an invasion the roof falling in you know, well, um, having a very bad disease so today I was scouring through the news and it touched upon <clears throat> excuse me the rift between the two brothers in the in Britain's royal family which were caused by apparently the elder brother William saying to Harry um, take all the time there's no need to rush take all the time you need to know to get to know this girl now it seems that Harry the younger brother felt that his brother was being snobbish about her so that isn't um the 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 that's just the starting point i'm not asking you to write about that particular problem though uh you, you can if you want um and you know, for those of you who want to write literary fiction it depends on how it was said how it was delivered i presume the two brothers know each other but the royal family being the royal family i wouldn't bank on that since they they, they, nobody seems to interact with each other uh, in that family. It's strange. I understand that um, Charles shakes hands with his mother. And I, I read once whether or not this is true, but um, I read that he rarely hugs her, if ever. Um, bearing in mind that um, hugging your children was not a big thing really in the uk until the 90s when we saw a lot of it on the likes of <clears throat> um, the cosby show and uh dana spencer uh the them uh, their mother um i'm not a royalist so i always call her dana spencer but everybody else knows her as the princess of wales she was charles's wife um she started this this big thing about hugging your children and made a point of hugging those two children so they would feel a little less um emotionally reserved than their, their father who i presume um was very emotionally reserved from what she said anyway, the point is this families are like that <clears throat> and i know of at least two other people who felt that they were not accepted by their family what one she in fact um she was from um the north american continent and for their thanksgiving her fiance was told that he could not invite her to thanksgiving because they they didn't like her um and again um she was not caucasian they were and it was down to the fact that it was her ethnicity but it doesn't have to be people take a dislike to people who are very different from them in emotional ways or intellectual ways um there's the whole cinderella thing uh you know um, somebody being beneath the the family um th there can be many reasons why the family takes against that is just the starting point that would be for you as the author to invent and then you would start with that as your found as, as 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 your your uh your main problem and then you would write your story around it uh, whose problem would it be would it be 
the family member who is just for the simplicity take the Cinderella part okay so the prince and Cinderella Cinderella is not invited um, so <clears throat> it could be comic comedic she she could get revenge it become a revenge story it could be romance he leaves everything for her kind heart and coronets I refer to movies a lot because generally speaking they are excellent stories kind heart and coronets is about such a thing and I really, if you've not seen it, really recommend you see, if it only for <laughs> Alec Guinness's performances. Uh, crime, well, um, revenge, um, you know, uh, Cinderella goes on the rampage. Thrillers, uh, ooh, it might be called Knives Out. Yeah, it's Knives, Knives Out. There's a kind of a family curse and... Um, she has to play a game and she draws a card and they go hunting for her and it's a pretty good film actually <laughs> I thought it was stupid until halfway through I thought actually this is not bad but it's, it's part thriller um, anyway, uh, part, part comedy uh, and recommend that too in a three and a half star out of five sort of way historical oh, Cinderella rewrite it uh, Cinderella stories as Kurt Vonnegut says, everybody loves Cinderella stories. Political, um, political, political, political. Okay, a fledgling party, the Green Party or some party like that being shunned. And that be like Gandhi. Gandhi's political. Uh, what was his famous quote? Um, First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Surreal. Well, it could be surreal insofar as it's 2020. Why would anybody behave this way? It's <laughs> surreal in itself. But if you write surreal stories, you've got a better handle on how to make something like this surreal than I have. Horror. Well, they could invite her in, but in fact, they're the Adams family or the Munsters, but in a horrible sort of way. There's a whole Frankenstein, uh, not Frankenstein, a Dracula thing going on there. Biographical. Somebody could be. Uh, um, and Dr. Watson as well, chronicling their experiences with this truly horrible but very, very rich family. It goes back to the Maxwells, I guess. And then, um, I'm not saying all the Maxwells are horrible, but certainly the father seems to have had some objectionable habits. And then the lady Gazelle is in prison for some horrible, horrible, horrible accusations and allegations they are at the moment you know until proved guilty and a jury well um okay somebody brings um over here something the slander involved in libel and you're also maybe um as in the case of mary trump the uh, the whole disinheritance thing eight minutes and 20 seconds gonna have to get uh, no 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 can't go over eight minutes. YouTube are going to shove adverts in the middle. That's very, very horribly bad. Okay, um, tomorrow we'll find something else from the news and can 